relatively high pitched thing happening in the background um, behind the notes and there's quite a bit of of a buzz and that could actually be the grounding from the, the, uh, the heater supply but I suspect it's a combination of things including lead dress this thing is uh, much much noisier than it should be the basic sound is alright but there's a high pitched thing happening in the background there is beginning to oscillate. And you know, I was reading on uh, one of the amp forums the other day, someone said, well, all marshals do that if you turn everything up. Oscillation is just part of it. No, uh, I should be able to have everything dimed on here or just a treble all the way up in the bass and middle shelf and the presence all the way up and not have that squeal. So this amp will not have that squeal when I'm done. But it's very promising. And uh, next time you hear this, that uh, oscillation and that buzzing should be gone. Really quick video showing a major frustration I've got with this 1962 Marshall reissue, the Blues Breaker. Done a lot of work, got it overall sounding great, but I can't let this go out yet. If you listen closely, you'll hear a hum in the background. Channel volume's off, there's a hum. If I raise volume 2, the hum will start to decrease. Right there, it's almost gone. And of course, it comes back as you turn it up. And you can really hear there's a, a low frequency hum in the, in the background. Channel 1 doesn't show up as a hum. It shows up as a buzz. And as I turn this up, the buzz gets worse. That's not the hiss from the bright cap. That's that's just buzz. That's a, a multiplication of the hum that you hear here. Um, it's not the grounding. It's not the heater supply. It's not anything in the circuit. It's not any of the tubes. It's not the filter caps. Um, it's not lead dress. I've gone through all of that. What it is, see this dent on this power transformer? Amps in standby. There's a very low frequency hum that's audible with this amp in standby. This is injecting noise into everything else. It's coming through the output transformer right now. So this is injecting radiating noise into the output transformer. Uh, when it's, in, when it's uh, on, it's injecting noise into everything else. The owner decided, you know, gave me authorization to do whatever necessary to make this amp quiet. And that's great. But before I spend his money on a new power transformer blindly, I wanted to make sure it really was the issue. And uh, suddenly, I just saw it. You know, I wasn't looking for it before because I didn't expect Marshall to forget how to make Marshalls. But apparently Marshall just lost the thread at some point. Those of you who do this for a living have already seen it and are laughing at me for trusting in Marshall so far. Some backstory. If this were a 1964, 1965, 1966 JTM 45, or if this were something built by George Metropolis, or if this were something built from, from Seriotone, if this was something you got from Mojo Tone, if this is something I built for you, if this were a Germino, the choke would be about here, and the choke axis would be here. The output transformer would be about here, and the output transformer axis would be about here. The power transformer would be about here, and the axis would be about, oh, wait, it's on this axis. Let me explain, I'll, I'll explain why that's a problem. This was just dumb. All right, so here, underneath these bell covers, there are coils of wire. I'll show it on the inside of this one in just a minute. 
but these coils of wire are loops. So this one's looping in this direction. I don't know whether it's going that way, that way, or that way, but it's on this axis. And again here, it's looping this way. So this is on this axis, this is on this axis. They're 90 degrees from each other. Any noise coming out of here is, cancel is not picked up here. Any noise coming out of here is not picked up here because they're in each other's null. Um, I'll explain what that means in a bit when we get to this power transformer. But this power transformer is on this axis. This is on this axis, but these are loops. So this axis is this axis. This axis is this axis. On the vintage ones, this whole thing will be rotated 90 degrees and be on this axis. So, <clears throat> since these are on the same axis, I could rotate the output transformer and no longer get the uh, hum when in standby. Uh, but it doesn't solve my other problems. First of all, they put the choke in the output on, on the same axis. That could introduce new problems. Second of all, transformers, like a microphone to an extent, have uh, radiate fields which go in certain directions. So this transformer, because wires going like this, radiates noise out to the side, much more than it does at the ends. They're like donuts, big circle nastinesses. If this were rotated to the side, most of the nasties would be going front and back. Well, there's a rectifier tube here. There's a filter cap here. There's nothing there to pick up noise. There's power switches here, nothing to pick up noise. Speed and intensity, they're even out of the circuit here. If you stood too close to your guitar, sure, you get some problems, but it's not being a strong radiant field this way. And what there is would be rejected from this because it's out of 90 degrees. But with this being rotated the wrong way, its noisiest side is out here, and it's also getting picked up in the preamp circuit. So I can't just rotate this because that would solve one problem and not all of them. I have to rotate the position of the power transformer. Now, I could rotate this tr power transformer. I'm not going to because it's a cheap piece of something and it's had some damage and the laminates were really loose when I got it and I've got it bolted, but you can tell between the dent and here that this thing's seen stuff and it's, n it's not a very good transformer. And uh, I have a lot more freedom with the power transformers once I make the decision to rotate it. So I'm gonna have to cut a hole in here to rotate it. I'll show why in just a moment. All right, this is the other side, and I'm going to use this, even though the amp's not plugged in and everything's discharged, just because I don't want to show too many videos of people sticking their finger in here and people misunderstand. Ignore these. These are a temporary thing while I was troubleshooting whether it's a transformer issue. Underneath this tape is the wire running in this axis. And you can see that there's a rectangular uh, hole cut in this chassis, and then there are the, the four mounting points. I've got to remove all this, get a new power transformer that's better quality, and mount it on this axis, which means I've got to cut a new hole in the chassis, and I'll, it'll overlap the existing hole, so I only need to do the two ends, and I've got to reposition the, uh, the mounting holes, the four screw mounting holes. But this is a steel chassis, and I've got to cut slots out to make the new one fit, so it's going to be labor-intensive. And uh, it's not fun, and it, it adds to the cost, but uh, it doesn't. It no longer matters what the original footprint of this is, because where the transformer is is fundamentally flawed. They forgot how to marshal. Stay tuned. We're going to make this thing back into a real marshal.